What's up, guys? Coming to you guys, talking about a little bit of wide zone with an RPO attachment to it. So I'm going to show you um, Oklahoma State running a wide zone concept. Um, I know that Coach Henson brought a really good wide zone concept to Oklahoma State a few years back um, that he had gotten, I know, I think from LSU, Mizzou. And I think really what they did was they did a really good job of using the little B-back or H-back or cowboy back, I think they call them now, uh, to insert himself basically where they felt he was needed. Um, they also did a great job of, of splitting the defense by pass proing the backside and by, by running the front side and reading their one RPO key, whatever it might be. So the play I'm going to show you right now, it's really simple. And I believe they're playing TCU, and there's a, there's a really interesting concept they have. The concept they're running is a split back concept with a two receiver side. This guy on the left doesn't do anything. He just kind of falls off the play. But really what I want to show you is I want to show you that they just count the numbers in the box. I think what they were seeing was a 4 2 5 old TC 4 2 5 stuff and they wanted to keep extra backers in the box because of down and distance. What they were doing is they, they ran wide zone to the left of the front side, and then they brought the B back in, and they, they basically back blocked the linebacker like a backside iso, and they passed pro the backside tackle. Usually the rule for that on most people is they just get the first – they take the first empty gap and move them. So, for example – if this tackle was actually in this position, they would pass pro the tackle in the end. But because they were in a – they're running to the strong side, they only had one guy to go. So what they did was they read it. Quarterback – quarterback read the mesh. They came through the process. I believe the concept of the reading was either was either defenders in the box or they're reading open grass. The front side guy, the, the slot receiver, runs the safety off. This is a great quarters beater, especially if you know that these outside linebackers are coming downhill. And the outside receiver ran a five-step flat in, try to keep as flat as he can. Really a great quarters beater. Really a great uh, two ma a match two re a beater because you're just pulling everything out and sliding everything inside. Um, it's like a really shortened version of the slide from the run and shoot concept. So I want to get you to look how it looks. It's a good mesh point. Quarterback's eyes are very disciplined. The linebacker is an easy, easy completion to read. So I want to show it to you guys here. So let's watch from the wide. You can see what's going on right here. It's a really, it's a two receiver. They're doing this in a hurry, so they're not lined up properly. You can see the, you can see the referee definitely running back, trying to get the ball set. It's four two five. You can see they've screwed something up uh, when it came to their base alignment. They have seven guys in the box. It looks like cover two, but it's a match two. It looks like, as you can see, the depth of the safeties kind of gives some things away. It looks like they're man. They're man up on the back end over here on the single side single receiver. So as you watch the first 4-0 line and watch the left tackle, left guard, center, right guard, they're running down the line, going through their keys. Now, if I'm correct, I think I believe that this guy shouldn't have even been in the play uh, because I think they were expecting a two-backer box. So reality of it is I think the first combo wasn't really expected to go to this guy. It was expected to go to this guy. But because this guy showed his face in the gap, you'll see it. Now, on the wide view, let's take a real quick look what happens to the backside on the RPO concept. Notice they're in like it looks like a match quarters, match quarters or a true cover two look. The slot receiver runs that guy head down, eyes down, takes that safety as hard as he can. And the, number, and the corner is playing outside leverage. Notice the outside release by the receiver to really attack the outside shoulder for cover two to get that kid to zone turn. And he's going to snap that thing off on his fifth step, I believe. Let's take a look at it. One, two, three, four, five. He snaps it off, stays flat with it. It's a nice, easy read. All the, receiver, all the slot receivers doing is running a slot fade to clear that thing out. And there you go. There's your read, your throw. Easy, easy quarters beater. Let's watch it from the back end right here. All right, so the back end's a really good concept. You can see what's going on. You can tell in a hurry. Looks like they're having an issue. They're telling them to scoot over. You're going to get a solo front. You're going to get a solo block on the front side. You're going to get a solo block here because the center has told the guard he's going to help him combo to the first backer. It looks like they came to back. They came to combo to that guy right there. I believe this should have shifted over, or this guy should have been playing outside leverage, and they really wanted to go here, and they would be back block that right there. It's a great four-two-five boundary access RPO. Here it is. Things frozen up. Notice the pass pro on the back side has kept this kid outside. They've created a heavy wash the front side. They've split the defense in half. You've got a B-back coming for that guy. This was an easy read, easy pitch, easy throw, and there you go. You got yourself a really easy concept, guys. Let's watch it again from the front, full speed. Just clap it, ride it, step, throw, 
That's a great 4-2-5 beater, guys. A great quarters beater um, to the boundary because a lot of 4-2-5 teams will give that boundary to you. They're on like a cover two. It's a great answer. Now back in front of it, if you're a wide zone team, it's a great answer front side. What you do with that little B back or H back or cowboy back is up to you guys. That's a great, great, great play in there. So appreciate you guys. Leave a comment, leave a like. If you have questions, holler at me. Appreciate you guys. Thanks so much.